Assalamu alaikum. In today's video, we are going to see how to rebuild a new BIOS file for a Lenovo ThinkBox 16G4 Plus IEB laptop. The BIOS of this laptop is divided into two chips, 16 MB plus 8 MB, so it is normal to find two BIOS chips on our motherboard. We can also confirm this from the schematic. UO3801 is 16 MB chip, and UO3802 is 8 MB chip. After reading the chips using any SBI programmer, you should have to bin files like this. Open them using any hex editor tool. We need to know which one should be on the top and which one on the bottom. If you look here in the beginning of the 8 megabytes file, you will notice this value here. It refers to the Intel descriptor region, so I am assuming this file will be on top. Also, the footer of the file is empty. This could be normal in the middle of the Intel files, but not at the bottom. It is very rare to happen. The file length is 800,000 in hexadecimal because the file size is 8 megabytes. The beginning of the 16 megabyte file doesn't look like a header for an Intel BIOS file at all, but maybe it is the header of the BIOS region. The end of the file is a usual footer, so I am assuming this file will be on the bottom. The length is 1 million in hexadecimal because the file size is 16 megabytes. Now I have to combine both files together. Copy the whole data from the 16 megabyte file. Go to the bottom of the 8 megabytes file and choose best insert. Let's save the new file as combine.bin. The length will be 1,800,000 in hexadecimal because the file size is 24 megabytes. Now I have to locate the DMI block to get the serial number. I already know it is encrypted so I will search for LENV. Yes, here is the DMI block. It is encrypted and I have already described how to decrypt it easily in another video. You can watch it. Here I have the laptop serial number, machine type, model number and so on. I will copy the serial number and search for it on Lenovo website to find the suitable BIOS. As you can see here, we have the same info we already found in the decrypted DMI. Follow these steps to download the BIOS file. We need to know if this is the correct BIOS or not. I can search for BVDT in my original file. This keyword should refer to our BIOS. It is the same on the website, but this version is 53 and our version is 51. I will download it from here. Drag the file to Inu Extractor tool. Take this one. Extract it. Here we got our BIOS file, but we can't use it like this. You can see that the size is different. Open the file. Search for iFlash until you find the descriptor region. It is here, so I have to delete the extra data before it. Now I can search for iFlash again until I find the footer like this. Or I can go to the header again. Select block and set the length to 1,800,000 in hexadecimal, as I already know. It will take me to the same offset. Then I can delete the extra data after this. The file length should be 1,800,000 like the original file. Let's save it as new.bin. I have to transfer the DMI to if I search for LENV it will be empty like this. Let's search for LDBG to go to the beginning of the DMI block. Select block and choose 4000 in hexadecimal. Copy the data and choose best write at the same offset in the new file. Then save it. If we analyze the original file using ME Analyzer tool, we will find that the file system state is initialized, means it is not clean. If we did the same for the new file, the file system state will be configured, means clean, so no need to clean the ME region. The SQ and chipset should be the same, but maybe you can find a little difference in the ME version because we have got a higher BIOS version from Lenovo. 
we still can't use this file as is we have to split it into two files but don't worry it is very easy we already remember that the 8 megabytes file was on the top and the 16 megabytes file was on the bottom so we can select 800,000 from the beginning cut it from the file and choose best insert in a new file now save this file as new 8 megabytes.bin but make sure that the file length is 800,000 and the other file as new 16 megabytes.bin and also make sure the length is 1 million We are already done. You can flash these files to your biased chips and the laptop should work in fine. I hope you learned something useful from this video. We'll see you soon, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.